In this video, we'll be discussing about parallel plane waveguide. Now, first, I should understand what is a waveguide. Waveguide is nothing but the guiding structure, right? So, my purpose is to guide the wave from one point to another point. Let me draw this. Let's say that I have two plates here, okay? And I have an EM wave. So, I want the EM wave to hit between the plates and reach the point, right? So, it will be like two and four motions, right? So, it will hit here, reflect back, again it will hit here. This process will keep on going and it will reach the starting point to the end point, right? Now, one may ask how this will be done, right? How it is possible that without even losing energy, because we said like when you want to create a waveguide, it will not lose any energy, right? So, one may ask that how it is possible that it will not lose any energy, right? Let's understand this. Now, let's assume this is one part of the plate, right? And I have an EM wave for which let's say the electric field is like this and magnetic field is out of the board and it is propagating, right? So, it is like this, it comes, it hits and it goes, right? So, if I, if I take my right hand rule, okay, and if I point this the middle finger should point the electric field, middle finger should point in the direction of magnetic field and this should be in the direction of propagation. So, can I see that? You see, this is how it is happening, right? If it hits here, again it reflects back, this is what is your direction of propagation, right? So, again, this is like this, right? So, it is, you see, magnetic field is outside the bowl, electric field is like this, it will hit this, again when it goes like this, what will happen? The electric field is in this direction, right? So, your electric field will be like this again right? Magnetic field is still outside, right? Magnetic field is still outside and this is what is propagation, right? So, you have E, you will have H, right? Again, you will have something, right? This is how it is happening. Now, the next question comes, why this wave is not losing its energy, right? Now, the thing is, if you want the wave to not lose any energy, you have to, the distance between these two plates is some certain amount of distance. So, if this distance is, is m lambda by 2 cos theta. If the distance or the spacing between the plate is equal to m lambda by 2 cos theta, then what will happen is this wave, this is nothing but it will satisfy the boundary conditions, okay, such that it will not lose any energy. So, we are saying that if the spacing between the plates is m lambda by 2 cos theta, then it will not lose any energy. One may ask what is this m? m is nothing but this discrete numbers. So, if you want to make a waveguide, either if I take m equal to 1, the distance between them should be then for m is equal to 1 is lambda by 2 cos theta, right? One may ask if I want to make with m is equal to 2, that will be another structure, right? That would be another structure which will be nothing but lambda by 2 cos theta would be nothing but your distance between the two plates, right? In that case also, the wave will not lose any energy. Okay. One may ask, so it means that if the spacing between the two plates is equal to m lambda by 2 cos theta, okay, then if I, if I send the wave or launch the wave, it will not lose any energy. Now, if I twist this equation, if I make something like this, cos theta is equal to m lambda by 2d. For a fixed, for a fixed distance, okay, let us say that m is equal to 1 I am talking about, I will have one launching angle, right? Right? I have, what I am saying is, now if I fix the distance between the plate, I can launch with for the certain values of m, because m you can change it, you will have certain launching angles, right? If the d is fixed, m you will change it, it means you will have certain launching angles, right? To which if you launch, then the wave will propagate along the waveguide and it will not lose any energy, right? This is the second important thing to note, okay. So, it will not lose any energy. Now, what is this? If you are launching a different, different, if you are launching a different, different angles, right? So, it will have or you are launching from different distance. Basically, in this case, it is the distance between the, uh, the waveguide or the plate is lambda by 2 cos theta. Here it is, uh, sorry, in this case, it would be lambda by cos theta, right? 2, 2 will get cancelled. So, in one case, lambda by 2 cos theta, another case, lambda by cos theta. 
So this, when you're launching for different values of M, you'll have different launching angle or the distance between the plates. This is what for the different values of M, you have different combination. This is what is called as modal propagation. So this is what is called as modal propagation. Right? This is what is called as modal propagation. Okay, so I understood what is a modal propagation. One more thing to note is, for a fixed distance d, okay, if the distance d is fixed, and I know that cos can go to maximum value of 1 only, right? The cos can go to maximum value of 1. It means if you change the m, okay, it means cos, if the d is fixed, so what we are saying that if d is fixed, it means the distance between the two plates of the waveguide is fixed, okay. And you know that if you start changing the m, m is equal to 1, m is equal to 2, 3, 4 and you keep on doing that, right. If you start changing the value, it means that this value will change. But you know that cos can go to maximum 1, right. The value of cos theta is maximum 1, right. It means there will be a finite number or I can say that there will be finite m exist, right finite m exist right for which this condition satisfy what is the condition satisfy that wave can able to travel this finite m is what is called as different modes right we already told what is a modal propagation for different values of m this finite m will be seeing more on this what will be m this will be modal propagation will be seeing in the more on this in the next videos okay so this m will govern more important things what will be what will be the mode of that right so we have understood the basics of parallel plane waveguide, right? So if I want the waveguide or basically I want the EM wave to travel from one point to another point, then the distance between them or the spacing between the two plate should be fixed, which is nothing but kind of this multiple or if you are, if you are changing your distance, then it should be multiple of this or either you can change the launching angle. So either you can change the spacing between the plates or you can change the launching angle such that your wave will not lose any energy and reach to another point. We will see more on this in the next videos.